So now we go to the longest rivalry in the history of the NFL. Uh, the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. I mean, it just feels good to say that <laughs> weather in December getting cold and snowy and windy and the Bears and the Packers. Oh, those tricky Bears. Erlocker in motion. Packers with him. Holder Brad Maynard, the shovel, the Dustin Lyman. Touchdown, Bears. Sweat, and seven, the same play last year threw it to Erlacher. Drew that defense this year to Erlacher. Then Jim Miller in practice all week with the bad elbow to John Gilmore, the rookie tenant from Penn State, 11 yards. Personal foul, tax on yardage, and surprise, the Packers lost two in a row, now trail the Bears 14-3. That's Dustin Lyman, who scored both of the touchdowns, the tight end from Wake Forest. Then, end of the half, 14-6, watch this play, David Moore with the pick. Let's go all the way, it's the last play of the half, and then, what? And the Packers, my book, what? And then, what? And then look at this, he could go all the way. But number 84, Sterling Sharp, makes the tackle. <laughs> it's actually Javon Walker Roosevelt Williams could have had a touch, but what? R.W. McQuarters, he spots Javon Walker. He's got a chance to make that block. He passes it up, and he asks for the football. Sometimes we just can't figure out what players are thinking. Bears could have scored at the end of the half, but still they lead it 14-6. to six. Then, third quarter, Amon Green from midfield, rolling. And so Mike Brown makes a tough hit right there. Jumping up to uh, have him a bruised left kneecap for Green. He leads. Same drive, continuing in the sixth far. Second option is Bubba Franks. Touchdown at 14-13. Now the Bears are going to go in. But they fumbled the snap at the one. This is a team that lost eight in a row, but all of them playing close and hard, but can't close the deal. So they could have gone up by eight, but they don't. And now Favre takes over, and it's Tony Fisher, the rookie from Notre Dame. Yeah, and you watch what they did in terms of their game plan. They changed nothing with Tony Fisher. That first run was for 11. The next one was for three. He busts through there for 10 yards and another first down. 15 again, but watch the play selection. This is just what you would do with Armand Green in the lineup. The little screen game that the Packers love. Here you see it with Fisher running, cuts inside. There's another first down. So the replacement back came in and did his job. They're starting to lose some air in the tires. Well, actually, that's Keith Trailer. <laughs> we'll do that for that trailer. And then Favre to William Henderson. A little swing to the fullback. It's a touchdown. Pack, 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 pack. They lead it 23 14. And then Tony Fisher, it's not Bobby Fisher, Rook three to tonight, six. But then Fisher, the last ball leap, the Bears scored a touchdown late. Give the Bears the nod. I mean, their season's long been over their game. But the Green Bay Packers win a 30 to 20 and win the NFC Norris for the first time since I was coaching them, Tom, in 1990. Yeah, they showed a lot of balance today, and I thought the offensive line in particular did a great job. Chad Clifton now missing from that lineup. They've reshuffled that group. Outstanding job, both pass blocking and run blocking. Obviously, that was the Mike Holmgren, Brett Favre, Super Bowl, Halcyon days in 